Greetings, royal family. I truly hope all is well with each and every one of you. And I hope that you all are having a beautiful day no matter where you are in the world, okay? I know I have royal family from all over the place. So wherever you are and wherever you're watching this, I truly hope all is well with you and yours. So as we know, it's February, February 1st, and this is the month of love, right? This is the month that everyone seems to be celebrating love and romance, as we all know, uh, due to the holiday, Valentine's Day. Now, I won't get into that. I won't get into the real history <laughs> of Valentine's Day and how everything got started. That's irrelevant. But what we are going to do, since we know that everyone takes advantage of this month, um, to give and receive love and practice the act of love and even romance or however they do so with family, friends, and significant others. Well, since the vibration is probably gonna be raised a little bit this month, I decided to go ahead and do a little challenge um, and do something that can contribute to my channel, to my royal family and raising our vibration, making our lives a little bit better um, and contributing to my wellness as well as my royal family's wellness. So if you're down for the challenge this month, let's do it. So it's February 1st and the theme for this month that I want to do is gonna be all about love, compassion, and gratitude. That's right, all things love, all things compassion, all things gratitude, and I'll tell you exactly what I mean. So with this theme, we're gonna have three different components, okay? So we're gonna have love, compassion and gratitude. It's very simple. It's going to be very easy. I'm just going to give you some examples of how you can do this for self and for others. Okay. Under the three categories. So first we're going to talk about love. Okay. So when we're talking about love, obviously that's a really broad topic, but what we're going to be doing is it's going to consist of mind, body, and soul, and a lot of self-care routines. So let's get into that. So some examples under the topic of love for self okay we're going to be talking about love affirmations. so for love affirmations all you have to do is just write this down write down a few uh, you can look this up on Google there's so many examples out there uh, where you do love self love affirmations. so for self you can start with um, like I am uh, things that that show love I am love I am life I am light, I am incredible, I am amazing, I am dynamic. You know, things of the nature, things that resonate with love. And you can practice and say this every day. You can get as creative as you want to, and you could do this for yourself as well as for others. So you can do I love or love affirmations that talk about how you exude love or how you present love to you others. You can also practice this in the mirror. I've tried this plenty of times, I love it. Um, there's nothing more powerful than not only doing your affirmations, because I usually just do affirmations daily, but to do love affirmations and you're talking to self uh, for your self-love affirmations and you're in the mirror and you're looking at yourself. You have to really look at yourself, right? It's like the eye of the soul. You're looking at yourself and you're saying these and you're really believing it. You're, you're really into it and you feel it more and you connect with self more. And so that's definitely an example or maybe something you can try while doing your self-love affirmations. Now, even though this month is definitely all about love, I still would recommend keeping a balance uh, with your shadow work. For those of you who may be doing trauma healing or shadow work, um, you definitely want to keep it balanced as well. You don't want to be all about love and not be balanced. Balance is definitely key. There's uh, polarity, you know, the yin and yang. It's, we definitely have to stay balanced in this thing. So just wanted to point that out. So another thing we can do to show ourselves love for self-love is meditate. Yes, that's right. Meditate daily, doing, you know, that inner meditation and connecting to self is the best way, one of the best ways to show yourself some real good self-love. And remember, because this is the month of love, right? And when you're doing your meditation, you wanna make sure that you are most definitely focused on your heart space. And when we're trying to, one of the things I wanna say is when we're trying to uh, connect more to our higher selves, 
you know, and be better versions of ourselves and we're going within, it's really our higher self and our higher consciousness that's anchored within the heart space. And so that's another reason why it's really important to mostly focus on the heart space uh, when you are doing your meditations, okay? So another way that we're gonna be showing self-love this month is to eat well and stay hydrated. Making sure we drink lots and lots of water, lots of natural juices, try to stay away from the carbonated drinks, uh, the alcohol for those who may drink occasionally, I guess, wine. Uh, just trying to make sure we have natural juices and lots and lots of water, lots of fruits and vegetables. Try to incorporate that. Maybe even do a seven day vegan challenge for those of you who are um, not quite vegan or plant based. I do not eat meat, I am a plant based vegan. And so I, you know, that's already my diet. But one of the things I try, I probably try to do this month is continue to stay more um, on the alkaline scale, uh, have my foods more alkaline, definitely drink more water. Um, I have to get better at that, I know, with drinking way more water. I've been doing a lot better, so that's one way. Also, try fasting. I've been trying fasting lately where um, I may pay more attention to the intake of my food or not eating as much or doing just more juices and fruits for the day or two or three, and um, that has worked wonders. I have noticed how it you know, changed the way I think, my thought process makes it a little bit more clear uh, to really you know, be more in tune with self and spirit. So definitely, definitely something you could try for self-love, eating right, eating well, and staying hydrated. One of my absolute favorites, another example that you can do uh, to you know, show self-love is yoga and exercise. I know some of you are like, how does showing self-love you know, I'm going to be tired and, you know, and exercise and anybody got time for that? Listen, you, there's so many beginner exercises and yoga uh, positions and routines that you can incorporate that are just like five minutes or 10 minutes long. I promise it'll change your life. You'll start to feel more energized. You'll start to feel more motivated to even want to do more intermediate and advanced uh, yoga positions, poses and exercises. And even, hey, who knows, after you do something for 30 days, like this is a 30 day challenge, right? We're doing this and we do it for 30 days, it becomes ingrained in you, right? And it becomes a habit. And next thing you know, throughout this entire year, your whole life has changed. Because your body's changed, your mind has changed, and your spirit has definitely changed and elevated. You so. can also go out into nature. You can spend time alone. Spending time alone is very, very healthy, guys. Uh, you should never feel lonely when you're alone. If you feel lonely when you're alone, that, that means you have, a, you have a lot of work that, that you need to be doing. You should be in the best company when you're by yourself. I mean, it is one of the most healthiest things to start listening to you. You know, when, when there's no other distractions around, you have no other choice but to listen to you. And you start speaking to you, okay? You'll be amazed at what you find out from yourself, okay? <laughs> so the next thing that can be done for self-love is spiritual baths, rinses, you know, cleanses, however you want to put it, okay? But I love, love, love um, spiritual baths uh, or herbal baths, however you want to call it, uh, however you resonate with it. Um, I resonate with it being called spiritual baths, and I love just using natural oils, herbs, salts, and, you know, soaking in it and doing it with intention and for purposes. Some people do it for different ailments. It helps with the physical, it helps with the mental, and it helps with the spiritual. Um, and it's all scientific. You just go look it up. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing too mystical. Or, you know, a lot of us, we, um, especially those who may subscribe to a specific religion, you know, you try to shy away from certain things uh, that you may think is, you know, off the wall. But really, uh, there's, there's science behind almost everything that we do. Uh, for those who walk a certain spiritual path. When you're doing these spiritual cleanses, rinses, baths. You can work with um, different candles, crystals. You can work with, uh, like I said, different herbs and oils, okay? okay? Different salts, certain types of waters, like rose water, Florida water, okay? You can make the bath, the rinse, however you want. I like to do my baths and work with different moon cycles, like new moons, and full moons, I love working with those because it just, the energy is just amplified and um, you're kind of working just with the universe, you're working with nature. Uh, specifically for this month, 
since it is like we said the month of love you can definitely work with your rose quartz you can do the pink himalayan sea salts and you know all things eat rose petals rose water all things that resonate and work on the with the frequency of love you feel better you feel much lighter your aura is cleansed once you're done and so this is definitely another really amazing way um, to show some self-love okay i can also tell you something specific that i'll be doing uh, this particular month um, i'm actually starting today it'll be for seven days i'll be doing uh, working on my seven energy centers everybody has energy centers uh, i believe 30 odd of them um, and there are seven main energy centers, okay, royal family, and so we, we've all heard of them. It's just science, it's just the body, it's our energy, okay, it's nothing crazy or way out there. <laughs> For those of you who may be freaking out a little bit right now, it's okay. We all have a root chakra, we all have a sacral chakra, we all have a solar plexus, we all have a heart chakra, throat chakra, um, a third eye chakra, as well as a crown, okay, and so when we're talking about these energy centers, one of the things that I'm doing, there's seven of them I'm working on and I'm starting today and I'll be finished by February 7th. Just doing little mini uh, chakra rituals from now until February 7th where I'll be just trying to, you know, balance and align my, my energy centers and do things to just balance them and uh, maintain them and, and keep them healthy. So if you have any questions about that, just drop a comment down in the comment section. All right, and I'll be more than happy to give you some more information if there's something else that you're interested in. Definitely, definitely, definitely can't forget about the hair and skin routines, okay? That is definitely another way to show ourselves some self-love when we're taking care of our hair and we're taking care of our skin, okay? So I know I like to use natural oils for my hair and for my skin, like coconut. I love to use castor oil. I love that that's actually really good for the hair. I, I love working with different natural oils. I don't really use a lot of chemicals for my skin and my hair when I'm washing or shampooing. I love natural 100% Australian tea tree oil. I love them, you can dilute them, you can do different things. I love to create masks. As you guys seen in one of my, in my self-care video, I love to use, uh, work with baking soda and lemon and honey. I also love to use turmeric and baking soda with honey. That's another mask I like to make, but I do that on occasion. Um, the turmeric can get a little, a little messy. So one of the last things on the list regarding uh, self-love and showing ourselves self-love for this month of love, all right, is hygiene, 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 hygiene routines. And this isn't, uh, this is probably more for my queens than my kings, but kings, it's important uh, to keep up with your hygiene as well uh, regarding, um, you know, keeping yourself shaved, keeping things nice and neat, keeping things clean, you know, bay, the whole nine, all right? Definitely for my queens, one of the things that I wanna introduce is that I've already talked about in one of my other self-care uh, videos is steaming, yoni steaming or vaginal steaming, however you wanna call it. It is, uh, it dates back, it's ancient, okay? Our ancestors used to do it. So it's, it's a really good way to naturally cleanse and keep a balance okay if you know what you're doing and using the right amount of herbs and and or salts and things of that nature there's plenty of ways to do this plenty of resources out there you just go and check it out and see what resonates with you i like to keep mine simple um, i like to just use maybe some herbs i definitely always like to use a pink himalayan sea salts and things of that nature you don't do it for very long you drink your water before and after you make you can do it once or twice a month depending on you or your situation how you like to do it but it's definitely a great way to some self-love all right and take care of your um, our, our queenly things okay we also have a lot of natural washes make sure you're using nice natural herbal washes uh, or just natural products very natural from the earth products uh, when you're taking care of your business okay and showing yourself some self-love in the hygiene arena okay all right royal family so that was about how we could show ourselves a little bit of love this month so when it comes to showing love to others so many ways this can be done so what i plan to do this month um, as well as what i suggest is adopting sort of a servant attitude or a servant mindset where you want to help 
or serve others around you, whether it be family, friends, or getting out, volunteering, and doing something for different corporations, organizations, or just strangers, people that you don't know, right? There should never be a limit on how much you want to show love or the ways, the creative ways that you can show love to others. You can pray for someone, you can send good energy someone's way. Like I said, you can actually go out and, and do a good deed. You can bring something to someone, um, something tangible, okay, um, to help. And, and it's all in efforts to advance or elevate or to help, right? We don't, obviously, this is all about love. We're not doing anything to bring someone else down or sending someone some bad energy or, or doing something that is going to, you know, cause the, the opposite effect. One of the things I want to say is when you're truly doing something from the heart, and we want to make sure we're doing this and we're coming from the heart space. So when we're truly doing this this month, right, we are doing it from the heart space. Uh, we're being genuine about it and we're having um, a very authentic uh, feeling of gratitude and, and we're just feeling better while doing it. I tell you, when I, I probably feel my best when I'm doing something to help someone else. I don't know about anybody else, but I definitely feel that it way. It still has to be a balance. Don't do anything or try to attempt to do anything for anybody else and you have not yet first given yourself love, okay? If you're not taking care of yourself, you're, you're really not gonna be able to take care of someone else to the fullest extent of which you would want to or with the quality in which you would if you would have yourself taken care of first, okay? So, Royal Family, a few of my examples this month that what I plan to do, I actually, um, I have my neighbors, I have some friends. I'm gonna be cooking for some people this month, so they're gonna get a, you know, a taste of Queen Keys cooking. You know, I love cooking for myself and I love cooking for others. Cooking is also another form of meditation for me. I really get in this zone and this vibe, so I can't wait um, to cook for a few of my friends this month. I'm also gonna be visiting some of my neighbors and some of the natives that live around here. I'll also be visiting the orphanage um, that is right next to me um, just to kind of see what's going on over there. If there's a need, if they have a lack for something and if there's a need that maybe I can feel where I can contribute, even though my organization is not up yet and I don't have an actual legit organization, I don't mind coming out of my pocket and, and helping. See how I can help, see how I can spread the love. <laughs> So Royal Family, when it comes to compassion, we have to have compassion for ourselves and for others, okay? So when it comes to self-compassion, having compassion for self, that means we have to be forgiving of ourselves, we have to be understanding of ourselves, and we need to be gentle with ourselves, okay? Believe it or not, there's affirmations for everything, <laughs> okay? And so you can look up a few uh, affirmations uh, pertaining to compassion, having compassion for self and for others. And you can write these down, maybe 10 to 20 of them and read them every day, okay? So for this challenge this month, we should have quite a few different affirmations that we should be reading to ourselves um, as we're doing a few different things with this challenge this month. I'm telling you, it's gonna change your life. So when it comes to compassion for others, Royal Family, that's simple, reaching out to those who may be in a state of mourning or a state of recovery of some kind, okay? And just reaching out, showing love, letting them know that you care, letting them know that you're just checking in on them, okay? Plenty of ways we can show compassion to others. We just wanna make sure that we're extending hope, love, and encouragement for everyone's journey, all right? And this is kind of the goal as to when we're reaching out and we're extending compassion on others. But remember, first, extend compassion on self as well. So one of the last things on the list, Royal Family, is gratitude. I absolutely love practicing gratitude. I love writing down gratitude um, type of affirmations. I actually practiced this before uh, last year for a month. Uh, I did it with the book called The Magic and uh, written by uh, the makers of The Secret absolutely phenomenal changed my life and like i said when you do some find yourself doing something for 30 days or more you pick up a habit and so ever since then it's completely changed my life before i even open my eyes in the morning i'm thanking the creator for seeing fit to put life back into my body because i realize in my conscience that i'm conscious and i'm awake i'm up i'm i i feel my hands i feel my fingers i feel my arms i feel my body i feel and i'm here and i'm in the now i also challenge you guys this month, Royal Family, to show gratitude. 
show gratitude, be gratitude, exude gratitude, just everything gratitude. It'll change your life, I'm telling you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write down 10 things that we're grateful for every day. Now, every day, um, whether it's, some of them can still be the same, but I challenge you to write down 10 different things every day and recite them at least two or three times a day. So you wanna do this early enough where you have enough time to recite this at least two to three times every day, as much as you can. Like I said, I understand everybody has different schedules. You might not be able to do so. You might have a day where you're not feeling well. Listen, this challenge is all about doing it how you can um, and to the best of your ability, okay? I'm just encouraging uh, change in a very positive and powerful way. And gratitude is definitely one of the ways to do that. Now remember, you really, really, really want to feel deeply and think deeply when you're thinking about um, the things that you're, gra you're, gr you're grateful for, okay? When you're showing your gratitude because the key to this is truly feeling it. And if you're really thinking about it, you're really thinking about people, places and things and situations that you're grateful for, you'll feel it, right? And, it's, and like I said, it's all working with the heart space. That's what truly amplifies the magic of your gratitude um, when you're doing this. And see what happens is, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this before, is that the things that you're grateful for, the more you show the creator of the universe, whatever, the more you show that you're grateful for it or you put that out into the ethers, the more you get back in return of that in which you're grateful for. So if you're grateful for a healthy food and water to eat and drink every day, you get more of that. If you're grateful for life, health, and strength, you get more life, you get more health, and you get more strength. And those are some of the things that I'm always, always grateful for. So yes, royal family, what a perfect way to begin the year moving in power for the year 2021. This is a perfect way. We're letting go of the old, we're learning from old lessons, and we're moving forward in power. After all, it is one of the highest frequencies to vibrate on, love. That's really what Mama Earth moves on, which is why I want to do my part to contribute in raising the vibration. So let's do it this month, and let's do it in a powerful way and in the right way. Let's not do it because, you know, society has created a holiday and says we're supposed to do it this way or that way. You don't need that chocolate, no way. <laughs> Put the chocolate down and pick up some, some kiwi or some passion fruit or something. So yes, let's just move in power, royal family. And I'm really excited about this challenge. I'll check back in towards the end of this month, see how everybody did, tell you how my experiences went. I can't wait. It's just a simple little light challenge. It's nothing complex. And I hope you all enjoy. Remember, love, compassion, and gratitude for self and for others all the month of February. All right, love you all deep. Until next time, Kwaheri. Mm -hmm.